Hi everybody and welcome in. Today we're talking to Chief Executive of HRNZ, Phil Alden. And Phil, uh, newly minted Chief Executive, it's been barely a month. How have you found it? Well, it's been, um, certainly was, uh, been, been a whirlwind to be honest with you, Dave. Um, um, it certainly wasn't something like expected I'd be doing a couple of weeks ago. Um, and obviously it's under re fairly tragic circumstances with, with, with Peter, um, essentially stepping aside and, and retiring to focus on his health. So um, there's been a lot to learn, um, but I've been enjoying it. Um, I feel like a, I've been flat out like a lizard drinking, but you know, I'm getting there. In terms of your background, just tell us a wee bit about that. Um, I see on your CV it includes cycling, rugby league. You've got a, a quite a strong sporting bent there, if you like. Yeah. So. Um, I've been a chief executive for not quite 20 years across a number of different sectors. I started in food and beverage in the coffee sector as a chief exec, and then um, then I moved to uh, the Lion Foundation, which is a uh, community gaming trust, and I was chief executive there for seven years. Then I um, went to New Zealand uh, Rugby League, and I was there for three years, and um, and then from there, my family and I, we left Auckland and migrated south to uh, Greytown in the Wire Rapper. And um, I ended up uh, running Greyhound Racing New Zealand for uh, a couple of years as chief executive. And then I, I, I uh, took a role in, uh, locally in the Wire Rapper as a chief executive there back in the food business. And then since then I've been, um, you know, building a governance career. So I sit on a couple of boards, one of which is Cycling New Zealand. I'm the deputy chair there. Uh, Surf Life Saving New Zealand is the other one, and Harness Racing New Zealand um, until a couple of weeks ago. So uh, when I stepped aside to step into this role, so that's that's a little bit about me. It's very much uh, you've gone from being in the boardroom though to hands on at HRNZ. It's a completely different animal, I suspect. Uh, to a certain degree, I mean um, it's very familiar territory. I mean, even though. Um, you know, I get, you know, I'm a bit lucky that uh, the, the two years I had at Greyhounds, um, you know, steeped me in racing. So um, the issues are very similar. Uh, the, the personalities are still the same, you know, certainly in it, in it Rita. Um, so I'm across the issues and, and, and sitting on the board, you know, obviously deeply immersed in the, um, the opportunities and challenges facing Harness Race in New Zealand. So I, I guess, um, I'm pretty well equipped to step into the role. So hopefully it, uh, from most people's perspective, it's been relatively seamless um, uh, transition. Uh, and officially you're known as the interim chief executive. Just tell yep. us about that. Is this a caretaker role for you or do you see it as a longer term proposition? What's your thinking on that? Well, I'm in for the long term. I mean, um, as much as I possibly can be. I mean, there's so many moving bits, right, parts right now that, um, I'm pretty sure that the board are very conscious of the fact that trying to bring somebody in from outside the sector right now or going through a replacement, a recruitment process is probably not um, um, a, 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 an appropriate thing given there's just there's so much happening and we're in the middle of a significant transformation. So I've committed to the board that I'm here uh, doing this for as long as it will take and as long as everyone is happy um, and then to, to get us through this, this, this period of time, because it's just a, such a period of change, and then we'll reassess everything. So I guess, what, I guess the key message there is I'm committed, I'm focused on it, and I want to see it through uh, and see through, the, through this difficult piece. Are you buckling up for some turbulence? Uh, there's no doubt it's going to be, it's not going to be easy. Um, and I'm, not, you know, I'm acutely aware of that. Um, so I'm, you know, um, you know, it's, I guess COVID-19 has um, truncated a lot of um, uh, the issues that we're probably the racing has had for some time and now we're having to address them because we've just got to. Um, so yep, I am, I'm saddling up. I know it's not going to be easy and, and um, you know, people in racing and certainly in harness racing are very passionate and, um, I'm, you know, I'm conscious of that, but um, there's a duty of care and, I'm, you know, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have put my hand up and said, well, I'm happy to sit in the seat uh, if I didn't care. And I do care and I want to see it right. So, yeah. What's your message to the literally hundreds, if not thousands of owners, trainers, drivers, you know, everyone else in the industry? What would you, what would you like 
them to know about you and about your vision for the future? Well, I think the first thing is that one of the key drivers for me, um, you know, when I just when I wanted to get on the board of Harness Racing New Zealand, was that I I've always believed that Harness Racing's got a really strong and clear purpose and role within racing uh, in New Zealand. I mean, I grew up in Invercargill, um, and Harness Racing, you know, is was massive in Southland and still is very very strong and is a key one of our key centres. So, I've always felt that there is a um, that harness racing has a, an emotional piece of uh, connection with uh, middle New Zealand. I think it's got a really relevant place and in a really exciting future. Uh, I've got no doubt about that. Um, and, um, you know, so I'm, I guess when I just decided to make that transition from the board to here, um, you know, I want to see that through. I've got a really clear sense of actually, you know, we've got a really important role to play. We're an important part of, of the uh, sporting cult, uh, culture within our country. And, you know, I think that we, we just need to not lose sight of that. But it's not going to be easy. Um, we've got some changes and some fundamentals we need to address. Um, and there'll be people that will think some of them are good and some of them are not. And that's just, I guess, the nature of it. Um, but in order to get it, um, to get things pointing in the right direction, I think, you know, Now's the time, and um, and I'm I'm up for leading that change and leading and driving it accordingly. And just lastly, how optimistic are you? Just on that, in two, three, five years, that harness racing will be in a good place and a sustainable place, if you like. Well, I think that key word there is sustainable. I mean, um, I think we've got to make some changes in order to ensure that the footprint's right for the future. So I, I've, as I said, I think I've got a clear sense that harness racing has got a long-term future in New Zealand. I'm excited about the vision uh, of that for the sport, and um, I'll be happy to articulate that and fight for harness racing wherever I possibly can. Um, so, but being sustainable has got to be the the, the key thing. So, um, and I think that. You know, one of the things that I'm beginning to turn my mind is, you know, that we need to challenge a lot of the things that we've done historically uh, to make sure that they're still the right things to do in a new environment. And it will be a new environment. It will look different for racing per se, not just harness racing. And I want to make sure that we're best equipped to, um, uh, to take advantage of that, that we increase our relevance with different audiences, that we look after the people that we've got, um, because I think we've got a great product and um, some great people in there. And I think that, you know, there is a, a, a good future. But it's going to be a little bit bumpy to get there. Um, and as long as everyone understands that and is, is patient where they can be, it'll be trying, absolutely, no question about that. There'll be frustration, absolutely. But I'd like to think that the end result will be worth it for everybody. All right, Phil, thank you very much for your time for this first of what we what will be many updates over the next few weeks and months, and uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Dave, and um, look, I look forward to it, and I'm committing to make sure that, you know, there's some, I'm, I'm doing this on a more regular basis than we may have done in the past.